Loose Man. Today's topics were... Is it wrong to make your partner jealous? Is it important to make amends with loved ones before it's too late? Or has a relationship with a family member down so much you couldn't forgive them? Would you rate yourself as a parent? And do you think MPs should be sacked if they are caught in a sex tech scandal? On today's panel was Andrew McLean, Gloria Honeyford, Chizzy Akadulu, and Colleen Nolan. With guests, Nadia Hussein. So on today's um, Loose Women, uh, Chizzy thanked everyone for all their support from the last time she was on about her, um, her addiction, eating addiction or food addiction. Um, so she wanted to thank everyone for all their support, all their comments. And messages um, and apparently an MP um, has been sex texting a barmaid um, he's married um, he was doing it when his wife was pregnant um, so do you think he should be sacked for doing it um, I agree with Gloria, he should be sacked, um, apparently there's, uh, two petitions going round, um, I can't remember what one of them was called, but the other one was about, um, him resigning, um, I don't think he should resign, he should be sacked, um, I think it's a disgrace to the government, I think to, it's a disgrace to, um, the Prime Minister, his wife, his kids, um, and I think the statement he done to apologise, it didn't sound like he meant it either. Um, so should Andrew Griffiths step down as MP? Um, I don't think he should step down. I think he should get the sack. Um, and then after that, uh, Thomas Markle has spoken out again. Um, saying he is worried he will never rebuild his relationship with his daughter Megan um, before his death. So, would you make amends with a loved one before they pass? Um, I think for me, it would depend on what they've done. Um, and I am a very forgiving person and never hold a grudge. Um, I think that's why people will call over me because they know that I'd forgive them straight away. Um, and like I said, it depends what they've done. As far as as far as we're all aware, he 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 hasn't done nothing to Megan apart from apart from what happened when they was getting married. Um, but if I was Thomas, I would come over to the UK. And then just do whatever it takes to talk to Megan. I agree with Colleen. Um, I think Kensington Palace should release a statement to say what is actually happening. At the end of the day, it's her father, her only father. Um, you only get one in life. Um, and it does feel like now she's married into the royal family. She doesn't want to know any of her, her other family. Um, apart from her mum. Um, yeah, it's, I think it's a really sad story this is. It's, um, hopefully they can resolve it. Um, and then, Nadia Hussain come, Hussain come on to talk about her new, um, show called Nadia's Family Favourites. Um, she has done incredibly well since leaving Great British Bake Off, winning it. Um, 
she was saying that she loves fish fingers and that she, um, the most she's eaten in one meal is 18 fish fingers <laughs> um, and apparently she likes making a fish finger lasagna sounds quite nice actually um, so I might have to try that um, and also she to tackle fussy eaters she always added spice so if her children were not keen on it she'd add spice to it um and apparently her daughter wants to be an actress and be working in theater um and i think she's a brilliant muslim role model as well as sarah uh, sarah sarah khan khan <laughs> um and to show that you don't have to be married uh, to be in an arranged marriage you can marry who you want be who you want um and don't never lie um i think what she's um how far she's come since bakov it's just been incredible um so yeah she also she says she only eats one meal a day one meal oh and apparently she lost she's lost three stones so far um and she, so her program starts tonight at eight o'clock on BBC Two. Um, she stayed for the last part of Loose Woman. Now apparently Kate Galloway says um, I like making him a little bit jealous every now and again, reminding him that I am alive and someone might fancy me. And to be honest, she does look amazing for her age. Such a stunner. Um, so is there, if, so is there anything wrong with making your partner jealous? Gloria thinks it was pathetic, childish, um, and I completely disagree with her. Um, I think you can, you can tell if it's flirty banter or serious flirting. Um, so, I think, and there is her life, such to her, what works, what don't. Um, she, she is like, even though she's, what, in the 50s, is she? She acts like she's 21, which is, it's brilliant. You're, you're only as old as you feel. Um, and I love, I love Tizzy and Colleen's banter today, it was brilliant, going like, Backwards and forwards, making me laugh so much. Um, and also, they was talking about would you rate yourself as a parent? Because um, Nadia and her husband, um, they do it every day. And they always rate themselves. Um, and I think she was saying the lowest she's rated herself was a two. I think she said. Two out of ten. Um, do you do this? Bit odd, I think. Um, it's right, in, like in a jokingly way, but not in a serious way because it's, I, you know, a bit of fun, isn't it? Um, but yeah, if it works for Nadia, then good for her. Um, so yeah, I'd say so. It was nice to see Nadia. Um, I've seen her on telly for a while. So yeah, catch her tonight. At eight o'clock, BBC Two, and it's called Nadia's Family Favourites.